launch our 2016 Rover Temper. Thank you, Mark. Th thank you, uh, Richard. Um, yeah, look, congratulations to uh, you and uh, the Lions Club and the committee here at Bogger Bry. Uh, I've heard so much about the Drover's Campfire um, and uh, I've seen the, the awards that you've, you've uh, achieved uh, for, for your magnificent effort. And uh, it just goes to show uh, what a bit of initiative and community spirit can do. And for those of you that are visiting, uh, Bogger Bry uh, is a uh, small town with a big heart uh, with, with a great uh, community that uh, rolls their sleeves up and get on with it and, uh, and it's a wonderful experience. I'm looking forward to getting around and looking at the displays that you have here today. Um, my family started off in Bogger Bry. They moved here about 1900. Uh, you know, came here with a horse team from Victoria and uh, there's a great amount of agricultural heritage. In 1927 the biggest wheat grower uh, in the British Commonwealth was based here at Bogger Bry, Herbal Reef and uh, he grew 5,000 acres of wheat uh, with 250, 240 Clydesdales in 1927. So if you can imagine the logistics of that and uh, this display goes back to some of that, uh, that era. So uh, uh, enjoy your stay in Bogger Bay and congratulations. Uh, it's a great privilege for Rob and I to be here. Thank you. Um, last year, uh, ladies and gentlemen, are visiting, um, a number of families from Bogger Bay attended the Inland Tourism Awards in Broken Hill. Uh, which just also happens to be in my area as well. And uh, for a small community event that started over a decade ago uh, to be recognised as the premier event, uh, regional event, uh, in New South Wales at the end of uh, 2015 was an outstanding effort for uh, the Bogabri community and the families that are represented here today. These guys have gone on and, and won uh, the New South Wales Tourism Award as well, which is why Destination New South Wales will be here later today to recognise that with some, uh, some funding. But they also went on to the National Tourism Awards and received a runner-up. Um, and I just wanted to uh, acknowledge something that uh, uh, well, at that night there was the Box Halls represented, the Hollingsworths, the Gillans, I think, and obviously Jeff and his family. And Mike Whitney was the host. And uh, people from all over New South Wales were there and he came up and he said on the way up, he said, where's Bogabri? And Richard, Richard got to get a hold of the microphone and Richard said, well, Bogabri, he said, well, it's between Harper Area and Emerald Hill. <laughs> and Whitney went, oh, where's that? And he said, well, well, you know, it's near Barn Bar. <laughs> and Richard had Whitney on the, end of a, on, on the end of a string, but I can tell you by the end of the night everybody knew where Bogabri was. Uh, and it was a credit to, uh, to the team that's actually put this together. The other thing I wanted to say just very quickly, as Mark said, we've always had an attachment with Bogabri, our children were born here. Um, but this event is successful for a number of reasons. One, it's intergenerational and the senior members of this community are passing the baton on uh, to the next generation. And that's what keeps Bogabri strong and it's why it's heart, as Mark said, is a, is a big heart. It's very good support from uh, the Narrabri Shire and, and people like Kath, uh, obviously lived here all her life as well, uh, do a fantastic job in supporting this event and it's why it will stay strong. I just wanted to thank the visitors that are here. Uh, over the years I've been coming here, I know there are a lot of people that come up from the Central Coast uh, and that certainly helps our community, it helps us keep that, that relationship strong and live and the fact that you're interested in what we're doing uh, and staying in our area, I think it's a credit to you as well for making that effort. Uh, but well done, and uh, let's keep the campfire strong. We've got a photo. It almost looks like it's out of Marion's window at her house because it's the view that she does look at nearly did look at nearly every day. But she's on her way up to the Atherton Tableland, so she can keep this little photo of Capita. I'm going to ask Marion to just have a few words because Marion's never she's never <laughs> lost a word. <laughs> she's a great lady. Oh, this is such a shock. Um, it's just great to see all you people here. Narrabri Shire has been, been very active in tourism promotion over the years and this Bogabri Drovers Campfire, I'm sure a lot of people thought when it started that it probably might get off the ground and it maybe wouldn't. And just looking at all these people around here and, and particularly over the last few years how it's grown it's a it's a great credit to Jeff and to Richard and to the Bogabra community and also I must
say, Penny Jobling, who is the tourism manager now, has done an absolutely amazing job in promoting it. She's managed to wangle funds out of Tourism New South Wales. She's been very supportive of the Bogabri community and I thank you, Penny, for that. Um, all the best to Bogabri who drove this campfire in the future. Um, I don't think we'll be back in a caravan, but we might come back and see you anyway. Thank you for that and thank you for the gift. While she's on, Penny, I don't know whether Penny's an asset to us or not because <laughs> we just do our little thing here. We're just attracting a few caravans off the road. Penny, through Marion, I guess, got wind of this Grover's Campfire and Penny now is the one that has us tramping all over Australia <laughs> going to these awards. So thank you as well, Penny. We're going to have a minute's silence in... Uh, in memory of Stewie McKenzie, who 12 months ago lost his life on his way to the Drover's Campfire. I don't know whether you remember him. He was coming, you wouldn't remember him, but he was coming as part of the band, Good Corn Liquor, and lost his life down near Singleton on the Wednesday, which was the date today. And also a tireless helper in Willie Jones that we only lost uh, two weeks ago. Thank you. Who knows the song Charleville by Slim Dusty? I met her at the disco in the school of arts hotel The kind of place that some girls won't attend The moon shone over it with screaming and later I fell I'd never be a lonely man again In Charleville In Charleville That pretty good woman said she'd say I will In Charleville In Charleville That pretty little woman said she'll say I will In Charleville In Charleville That pretty little woman 
Let's just say I will Chart of bills In chart of bills Let's print a new one Let's just say I will